फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज धर्मेंद्र मुजिद्रा वेलकम टू द गुजराती चेस जोन टुडे आई विल शो यू हाउ टू क्रश द कैरोकान डिफेंस एंड द फेवरेट ऑफ एनाटोली कार्पो many others main line is well fair prepared from black side so i suggest second move from white side is a surprise to carokan players which is he for second move however is a tricky move which may simply in convert to pan out botonic attack like this e4 c6 d4 d5 c takes d5 c takes d5 and after c4 this is called pano botonic attack but we will convert and uh, i have to surprise my opponent from black side by moving second move c4 So let's try. Here is a tricky move. Second C4. Let's see. There are two possible moves for black. In second C4, white play four. After C6 and C4. Now main mainly black can play D5 or second E5. Second E6 is a strange move. but it's not a so bad in the game 1992 white took advantage after second c6 e4 c6 c4 e6 this is a strange move knight f3 white played here in the game after d5 c takes d5 black took this pawn by d e takes d5 after e takes d5 c takes d5 is a b5 check bb5 check black played here knight c6 After queen e2 check, black played same queen e7. Knight e5, threatening this bishop takes knight. Black support the knight by bishop d7. After bishop takes d6, c6. B takes c6. White castle. in the game you can see white is in strong position king d8 white played here b3 queen e6 is a b2 f6 Qf3 after f takes e5 queen takes f8 check black played here bishop d6 knight takes d7 king takes d7 white played here knight c3 black knight at 6 try to knight f5 and white player here knight a4 and in a very very aggressive attacking position so let's see the main line is this is not a good move okay we are on d5 
let's start e4 c6 after c4 second move black played here d5 what will you do after d5 c takes d5 capture this pawn by c pawn black takes this pawn by c takes d5 white takes e takes d5 now there are two choice queen takes d5 or maybe black can play knight f6 so let's see what about knight f6 after knight f6 white will play knight c3 black want to recapture pawn by knight takes d5 after knight f3 there are two choice for black first knight c6 develop his knight queen side knight or second knight takes six so let's see first knight c6 queen side knight development after knight c6 white will play bb5 pinning the knight black want to develop his pieces by e6 white castle bishop e7 d4 center control by d4 black will castle r1 bishop d7 bishop d3 the planning bishop takes at 7 or bishop c2 bishop b1 and queen d3 or queen c2 so many ideas behind this bishop d3 so bishop d3 black will play bishop f6 black want to try capture this big pawn bishop e4 idea behind this move knight takes d5 e takes d5 bishop takes pawn and simply win the pawn bishop e4 black will play r e8 so black want to recapture this pawn how knight takes pawn takes bishop takes pawn rook takes rook check queen into rook knight into pawn knight takes then bishop takes pawn so this is wrong calculation from black side no worry about it now queen d3 and white at a good position this threat bishop to f7 so black here force move to g6 and after g6 you can simply move this pawn and stop this knight to attack your queen okay Okay, let's see what will you do after knight takes c3 in this position. Knight takes c3 in sixth move. e4, black plays c6, you play c4. After d5, c takes d5, c takes d5, c takes d5, and knight f6. After knight c3, knight into d5. After knight f3. Now, if black takes this knight, knight takes knight, you can take this by knight, b pawn, b take. You must uh, centralize your pawn from side squares. b c3. Now, black will play g6. Planning bishop g7 castle and long range bishop will be held. So g6 after d4 black will play bishop g7 psycho castle. It's natural move, no worry about it. Bishop d3 black will castle. After castle, you also castle. Now 
नेक्स्ट सिक्स आरी वन बिशप जी फोर पिनिंग दिस नाइट डिफेंस बाय बिशप एंड अटैक ऑन सी सिक्स आफ्टर रूप सी एट the uh, black uh, don't want to take the risk rook c8 you will play bishop g5 simple development and returning on e7 pawn extra attack there uh, bishop takes knight and bishop takes e7 this is our threat so black must reply queen d7 and h3 here this is a very 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 aggressive attacking position for white let's see what will you do after queen takes d5 instead of knight f6 e4 c6 c4 d5 c takes d5 c takes d5 e takes d5 and queen takes d5 This is position. Now you will develop with tempo knight to c3, queen d6. Slight structure same as the Scandinavian defense. You will see variation. Now d4. Black will play knight f6. Now. Knight f3, e6, bishop c4, black will play bishop e7, planning for castle, white should castle here, black will play knight c6, develop his knight. After bishop g5, black will castle and r1 with a good position. You can see white can take this open file by rook d1 in next move. Both rooks are very 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 active. Knights also active. Knight can go to b5. Or knight can bishop takes knight and knight e4 for so many planning you have plan ahead. Okay, let's see second e5. Not a very strong move after c4 e4 c6 then c4 black will play second e5. This is not a very strong move. Weakness. Now, knight f3. You can take this advantage by immediate attack to knight f3. Here, force move d6 is the only move because of f6 is very very bad move and bishop d6 also. So d6 is very correct move. Now break this center by d4. After d4, black will play bishop g4. After d takes e5, bishop takes f3. Now I suggest. Take this bishop by g4, e3, f3, because of queen is going on to exchange. After d takes e5, you can simply take this queen by queen. King takes queen, f4, exchange your double pawn for pawn. If black gives the check, bishop for b4. Here, 
I have very 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 good idea and surprise move for you. Move your king to e2. Centralize your king. You can play your bishop to h3 in next move and develop your bishop simply and go to the center immediately because of end game. King e2, black will play knight d7. Bishop s3 based for white position. So this is also playable move and playable line. And you can also surprise your opponent by moving second c4. So many moves uh, there are if you will play main line, your opponent uh, will give immediate answer that uh, main line. Because Caro can prepare player, uh, you cannot uh, taking advantage for, with a main line. So try this new move and surprise move. I hope you will enjoy this video. Like and subscribe my channel so I can make so many videos for you. Goodbye. We will meet earliest possible. Thank you very much.